Snow Tracks is sponsored by ski -Doo. What matters is what's next. Yamaha Conquer Snow. And by FXR Racing Full Throttle Addiction. If it seems like Skidoo hasn't stopped pushing the envelope for over a decade, it's because they haven't. Every year we've seen some sort of new update or innovation and every year their market share grows. Anyone paying any attention to the industry this season already knows about Skidoo's 2019 G4600R. It's been on the ground for a while and we've even done some preliminary testing with it with extremely positive results. Many will be pleased to learn that the backcountry will be available as an XRS package next year as well. But there's more news from Skidoo in 2019, and it all revolves around four-stroke. We will bring the 900 Ace uh, in the G4 platform a little wider to, uh, to welcome the, uh, the four-stroke. So the 900 Ace will get five horsepower more than the uh, previous one. So we go from 90 to 95 watts for the uh, NA version. And the big news is that uh, we also have a turbo now on the 900 Ace. So we introduced a 900 Ace turbo version with intercooler at 150 horsepower. We felt that 150 horsepower for the trail is uh, enough. What we wanted is to have a good response. Nimble vehicle for fast row. Uh, we want to have a corner to corner acceleration. No other fast row can deliver. Smaller size, lighter weight, and more power with no decrease in durability. That was the design goal for the ACE 900 Turbo. But there's so much more to this engine than just the old 900 ACE with a turbo slapped on the front. We have a new post piston to get the extra power. Also, the piston is adapted for, uh, to lower the base compression. We do have new cone rods. They are stronger to get uh, the new power. Also, we have new cooling, higher flow water pump, also inside the head of the engine, plus new oil circuit to bring more oil where we need it with this extra power. We wanted the power pack to be very compact. We, uh, we put the turbo very close to the head, so to get rid of the lag. Uh, we have a new exhaust to fit with it. The intercooler package, which is quite small and efficient. So we, we wanted to keep the vehicle small, so you don't feel like on a, a big sled hill, a tiny vehicle. We also put the P-Drive on, to help the uh, response. Of course, the big question on everyone's mind after learning about the ACE 900 Turbo is what happens to the rest of Skidoo's four-stroke engines? We needed more of power in, in four-stroke, and uh, we wanted to have the 900 there for efficiency. Bring the lightweight of the 900 and turbo compress it to get better efficiency down low till the end. The 1203 will just disappear slowly. 900 uh, Ace will be offered in the G4, and then the 602 remain in the uh, old uh, XS uh, chassis. Like the older 1200 four-stroke Grotax engine found in the XP chassis, this new power package in the G4 chassis requires wider bodywork. Skidoo is calling it the wide body, and in my opinion, they've done a great job with the styling. The 900 Turbo is being rolled out all across the 2019 lineup in everything from the Enduro to a Renegade XRS package. One of the most surprising models for me was the new G4 Grand Touring 900 Turbo though. This engine package takes Skidoo's luxury two-up cruiser to a new level of comfort, handling, and performance. After only a short afternoon on the trail, I can definitely see this engine and chassis package becoming a favorite amongst legions of four-stroke buyers. One interesting note about Skidoo's 2019 lineup relates to how they're positioning certain models and how that affects engine choices. Next season, MXZ XRS models with 120 and 129-inch tracks will only be offered with two-stroke power. If you want a four-stroke, turbo, or non-turbo, you'll have to buy a Renegade. The good news is that we think the Renegade is the best choice anyway. Polaris dropped two bombshells on the snowmobile press at their model year 2019 intro. The big news is definitely the Patriot 850 engine and the all-new Indy XC. 
The new Patriot 850 engine is a knockout punch, producing what Polaris claims is a 9% increase in power over the current Liberty 800 HO. We'll save you the calculations and straight up report the engine is knocking on 170 ponies, making it the most powerful two-stroke engine the company has ever produced. So we built this engine from the ground up to be durable, and we're confident in offering a four-year warranty to the 850 Patriot owners that snow checked this sled for model year 19. The move to a new shock-in skid, fully coupled, full tunnel for the Axis Indy XC with Pro CC suspension is a stunning move and one that's sure to attract huge attention at Polaris dealers. The new 129 inch Indy XC sets a new standard for Polaris ride quality. The conventional coupled skid delivers a near bottomless ride without having to continually adjust damping or preload settings for a broad range of riders. However, if you need to adjust the suspension, the new Walker Evans Velocity Shocks with mid-stroke mounted piggybacks makes reaching under the sled easier than ever before. The new suspension on the Indy 129 is, is front and rear coupled. Uh, it is set up in a way where uh, it's tr very trail compliant, but it also can uh, uh, really work well in the chop and, and the moguls. Uh, so it's set up to be uh, really compliant in, in rough trail conditions or in, in situations there, uh, which is a, a bit different than our Pro XC uncoupled suspension. With our new Indy XC, you can really look back at the 80s and 90s and how big of a, an impact those snowmobiles had on the overall market. And this is really kind of taking a step back to that where you get the extreme performance and, and uh, there'll be a lot of familiarity in this snowmobile back to where we were at that point. The ride is, is unbelievable. Uh, the acceleration, the front end torque, uh, everything with it uh, makes it fly down the trail. The new 850 engine with a four year transferable warranty and the move to the new Pro CC suspension are big news at Polaris. We'll let Polaris product manager, Marty Sampson, answer the question everybody's gonna ask. The awesome part for me is I'm one of those customers also. I love riding trail sleds, I love riding RMKs, and what we did is we made a better engine for our customers, and we made a better engine for me because it's just more fun, more responsive, more durable, and class leading horsepower, which is on top of all the things that we were trying to answer for our customers. The 850 Patriot will only be available on snow check for the Indy XC, Rush, XCR, Switchback, Switchback Assault, and RMK models. In-season buyers will have their choice of the Liberty 800 HO and the Clean Fire 600 in these models. That's a lot of new stuff in one year, and it means you absolutely need to stop by your local Polaris store and get all the details on the expanded model year 2019 Polaris lineup. There's big news coming from Yamaha for model year 2019. However, the news may not be the big news you are expecting. Yamaha is breaking all the rules in 2019 and investing in the resale value of the Yamaha snowmobile you currently own. Confused? You should be, and here's why. Yamaha is rationalizing their snowmobile product lineup in model year 19, pairing their brochure to just seven in-season models and five early order models. Two of those in-season models are the Snow Scoot and the SRX 120. This means the Phaser, Vector, Venture, and as previously announced this year, the Apex are gone. If you're a Yamaha-file, you have no doubt quickly calculated that Yamaha is going to be pretty much a Viper Sidewinder OEM in model year 19. When you spin this down in your internal Snowmo centrifuge, you'll understand why Yamaha is investing in their dealers and customers for model year 19. The goal this year is to clear the decks of unsold sleds at the dealer level so dealers can return to selling current year sleds profitably. The problem in the snowmo market, and this isn't just a Yamaha issue, is the degradation of sled values as a result of year after year rebated new non-current models. Cheer up, as a current Yamaha owner, you can feel good about this gutsy and revolutionary move by Yamaha. By the way, Yamaha has made it crystal clear they remain committed to the snowmobile business through model year 19 and beyond.
As a result of these realities, the what's new from Yamaha for model year 19 is not huge. The new Sidewinder SRX is the highest profile sled in model year 19, and it comes ready to prove this point. The Sidewinder is the fastest snowmobile money can buy. Essentially, the new SRX is 100% true to its lineage. The sled is lowered and equipped with a one inch lugger wrapped around a 137 inch skid. This Sidewinder is targeted at those who want to verify the largest number the gauge cluster can display. The new Sidewinder SRX rides worlds better than the old SRXs from the 90s due to Fox's new IQS remote adjustable shocks. This is slick tech which allows pilots to adjust their suspension on the fly. All new integrated switchgear clusters on both ends of the bars allow for instant on-the-fly damping tweaks as well as full toggling of the digital driver's display. Gone is the old annoying right side reverse button and the old school left side heater controls. The complete switchgear package is completely in step with the competition. Simply put, it looks and works great. For those who love their Vipers, there is only BNG for the single Viper model. And if you've been waiting for electric start for the snow scoot, it's available in model year 2019. See your Yamaha store for all the details. Snow Tracks is sponsored by Princess Auto, a unique world of equipment, tools, and more. There are precious few companies that have thrived and grown in the snowmobile business for the past 50 years. This year marks the 50th anniversary of one of the most iconic brands in the sport, Woody's Traction and Control Products. It's no small deal to come up with a product which literally changes the face of any motorized activity. In the case of Woody's and the sport of snowmobiling, they've done this more than once. They are credited with the literal invention and popularization of the carbide runner. Yeah, pretty heady stuff. As with all great and enduring inventions, the carbide runner was born out of necessity. 50 years ago, the necessity was improved steering control for snowmobiles racing on iced ovals. Today, the necessity is safe, durable, and positive steering control on snowmobile trails. Another revolutionary invention launched by Woody's is the now universal push-through traction stud. The old days, thanks to Woody's, of trying to push stubborn studs through T-nuts is ancient history. Throughout the years, the Musselman family have built their business on quality products. So revered are Woody's traction and control products, the company literally owns the snowmobile OEM carbide market, producing over 75% of snowmobile OEM carbides. They also produce an overwhelmingly dominant percentage of OEM PG&A studs and replacement carbide runners. Witnessing the absolute dominance of Woody's in the snowmobile industry graphically illustrates this reality. An unswerving commitment to quality manufacture of innovative and well-designed products usually nets success. In the case of Woody's, this success was born in snowmobile racing going back to the very earliest days of the company and the sport 50 years ago. Iced oval snowmobile racing was huge in the 70s, and Woody's was there testing and innovating products on the racetrack. What the Musclemans learned on the racetrack, they implemented in the designs of their traction and control products. Many are still popular today. As we move into a new era in snowmobile traction and control requirements, Woody's has continued to remain on the cutting edge with stud designs for thinner molded tracks with consumer-friendly push-through studs and carbides designed to work and last with a myriad of new ski profiles and designs from the OEMs. We want to wish Woody's another 50 years of continued success and dominance in the snowmobile traction and control business. Closed captioning of snow tracks is sponsored by Triton Trailers, built for adventure.
Polaris has been on the sidelines in the heavy-duty utility segment. Arctic Cat, Yamaha, and Skidoo all have credible sleds in this highly specialized segment. Interestingly, Polaris didn't me too the new Titan and simply respond to the competition. They rewrote the rules, making the Titan's debut a paradigm-shifting event for this segment. To prove the point, Polaris labeled the Titan the industry's first extreme crossover snowmobile. On this week's test ride, we're going to ring out, ride out, and stress test what we believe has become the new standard for the Swiss Army knife of snowmobiles. It's all about the Polaris Titan 800. Our test sled is the Titan Adventure, and it comes ready to carry a passenger in sumptuous comfort. The Adventure uses a king-queen seat with heated handholds and a ginormous touring luggage trunk. Suspension is fully adjustable using Fox QS3s up front and on the rear arm. The Adventure is also credibly utility capable with a 155 by 20 wide, 1.5 lug Cobra sneaker and Polaris Pro Float skis. The Mindbender Titan is the Titan XC, which at a glance looks for all the world like a switchback assault. It comes with a sporty low windshield and Polaris RMK gripper skis and QS3 shocks. This model is the paradigm shifter. The SP is the entry level Titan. It spins a 1375 rip saw and comes standard with Polaris Pro Float skis, which look like plastic snowboards. The SP uses gas cell steel body shocks and is ready for a plethora of Polaris lock and ride accessories. The Titan is hugely capable hauling heavy loads on its rear rack or ripping up pow in the foothills. Most buyers in the utility segment would not expect a sled like this to perform such a wide variety of chores and be a fully functional recreational snowmobile. If you own a Titan, you can make extra money doing roadside assistance. The Titan's 20 wide by 155 track makes the sled pretty much unstoppable, putting maximum traction to the ground and remarkable flotation in deep fluff. Here's another twist. All Titans have a massive cooling system which employs heat exchangers and a jibungus underhood radiator. Polaris developed their own proprietary transmission for the Titan they call the Alpha. It features high and low range and reverse gears. The CVT consists of Polaris Bulletproof P95 primary and Boss secondary. All Titans are powered by a full-on Liberty Clean Fire 800 HO using an electric oil pump, three-stage exhaust valves, V-force reeds, and a new power-boosting voltage regulator which delivers full electrical power at idle and low RPMs to ensure everything stays warm and lit. Okay, I get it. You're likely watching this test ride and thinking to yourself, Great, Mark, nice sled for the fur hat crowd, but I don't believe that this sled has enough power or enough sportiness to satisfy all of my snowmo fantasies. Here's where the paradigm shift comes in. The Titan isn't powered by a detuned Liberty 800 HO. This is the full Monty, the big gun 155 horsepower mill with the lightweight crank. The sled is not just sort of fast, it's a rocket. With a 20 wide by 155 inch out back, Titans get copious traction. I mean arm straightening, inseam stretching thrust from engagement to full whack. Maybe you think I'm making a little more sense now, but you still suspect that the Titan might handle like a fully loaded Winnebago and ride like a dump truck. It took us some time to come to grips with the Titan's handling. At first, we couldn't believe we could carve trails so capably with a 20-inch track, but we did. Here's the weird part. It was just as much fun as ripping white top on a 15-inch wide sled. When it comes to rough trails, craters, and stutter bumps, 
the Titan's QS3s perform exactly the same as they do on a shorter track 15-inch sled. In fact, it's arguable the Titan actually rides better than many so-called trail sleds. The Swiss Army knife of snowmobiles is an accurate description for this all-new sled. The Titan offers buyers incomparable versatility for either recreational or utility use, making no excuses. Snow Tracks has been sponsored by Polaris. See endless possibilities. MBRP Performance Exhaust. Race Inspired. Trail Proven. And by Art to Cat. Share our passion. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, like it and then subscribe to our page for more great content from Snowtracks TV.